Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. So the next question is, the power of a lens is plus 4D. Find the focal length of this lens. An object is placed at a distance of 50 cm from the optical center of this lens. State the nature and magnification of the image formed by the lens and also draw a ray diagram to justify your answer. Okay, so we have a lens whose power is given as plus 4D. So the power is in positive which indicates that it's a convex lens. So here we have a convex lens whose power is 4D and we have to find out the focal length of this lens. Okay, so then we have there is an object which is placed at a distance of 50 centimeter from the optical center of this lens. So from the optical center of this convex lens, there is an object which is at a distance of 50 centimeter. We have to find the nature of the image which is formed and we have to find out the magnification and we will have to justify it using the ray diagram. Let's start. So let's write down what all are given. So here we have the power of this lens is given as plus 4D and plus means it's a convex lens. So the using this power we will find out the focal length of this lens using the formula power is the reciprocal of focal length expressed in meter. So our focal length will be 1 by power. So power is given as plus 4D so I write that. So it's 4D so it's 1 by 4 which is 0 0.5. 5 meter but focal length needs to be expressed in centimeter so I write this focal length is equal to 25 centimeter so this is our focal length so focal length is plus 25 centimeter now let's write down what the object distance is object distance is minus 50 because the object is placed to the left of the optical center and F is given as plus 25 centimeter. Then we need to find out what the image distance is. So we, here we will have to use the lens formula that is 1 by F is 1 by V minus 1 by U. So 1 by V will be 1 by F plus 1 by U which is 1 by 25 plus 1 by minus 50 so it is 1 by 25 minus 1 by 50 which is equal to so this implies 1 by f is 25 into 50 so which is 50 minus 25 which is 25 by 25 into 50 so it is 1 by 50 so our this is V. So V comes to be plus 50 centimeter. Okay. So this is the image distance. Now if we draw the ray diagram. So before that let's find out what the magnification is. So magnification for a lens is V by U. V is plus 50 and U is minus 50. So it comes to be minus 1. So magnification is minus 1 indicating that it's a real image, it's an inverted image and image is of same size. Image is of same size as the object. This is your nature. So this is the magnification. Then we have to write down what is the nature it's asked so the image is real inverted it's of the same size as the object so this is the nature now we have to draw the ray diagram so if this is our lens this is the f1 this is 2f1 this is f2 this is 2f2 so our object this is our focal length which is 25 and our object is situated at 50. It means that the object is situated at 2F1 that is the center of curvature C1. So if we draw one ray parallel it passes through focus F2. Another ray if we take it passes through the optical center undeviated 
so here will be your image so if ab is the object a dash b dash will be the image so here we see that the image is formed at 2f2 here we see the image is formed at 2f2 so you can cross verify your answer that if the object is at if the focal length is 25 and object is at 50 it means that the object is situated at the uh, center of curvature the object is situated at c1 and if the object is situated at c1 the image will be formed at c2 or it is if this one is 2f1 the image will be formed at 2f2 so in this way you can cross verify your answer that whether your object distance is coming same as image distance or not because if the object is situated at 2f1 the image also will be formed at 2f2 and the distances will be the same so this way you can verify your answer so i hope i have made you understand this thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to sigma physics online